Okay, Commissioner Lyons. Um, a lot of protests, or a lot of discussion about the what's being called the White's Peak land swap. Um, tell us um, what, why you're entering into it and why you think it's important for New Mexicans. Well, it's a really good land exchange. It's been a high volatile area for 20 or 30 years with some of the private landowners shutting down the roads. Then it goes to court case to open them up. Then they did that again 10 years later. So we never had really a secure permanent access. With the trade with David Stanley, we have permanent access because we have highway frontage with, I, with Highway 120. So we're going to build a road through there, have permanent access through there, through all that property. It's going to take a checkerboard area out of White Peak itself was a piece of private land that you're not supposed to hunt with a state permit. So we're getting that all situated where it'll be better access, it'll be better wildlife habitat, so in the end it'll be more wildlife there and more permits being issued and more hunting opportunities. We feel like it's a win-win situation. Uh, we're also going to pick up a lot of acreage in that, that are private in the CS area. In both those areas we pick up a lot of property that's going to have a lot of valuable water resources in it that we need for wildlife. You don't have water, you don't have wildlife. We feel like it's going to be a win-win. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's a complicated exchange, but we want to make sure I have access for hunters permanently. Now, I'm sure you've heard the criticism that it is beneficial to a private entity in this land swap, and and that uh, a lot of New Mexicans won't benefit. What have you said to that criticism? Well, they first off saying we were going to give away our water resources, which we proved wasn't wrong. No one said anything again about that. And they said we're giving away the mountainous area. We're picking up mountainous area too. We're giving some away and picking up some. So it's like for like exchange. It's going to be better in the end because we don't have to worry about trespass issues. We don't have to worry about access issues. We know what we have, where we're going to hunt, and game and fish. They will like the exchange. It'll be a good exchange for all wildlife participants. Uh, one of the most vocal points has been Representative Egoff. He says he's going to bring um, legislation, if he hasn't already, to prohibit the state land office from dealing land swaps with private entities. Do you feel that would really handcuff not only yourself but future commissioners? Well, that's in the land office. We made over $3 billion in seven years for the state of New Mexico. We've been saving our bacon there. And a lot of that's been land exchange. We created hundreds of jobs through land exchanges because you need, when you have the right choice piece of property that a business wants to move to, if it's owned by the state, they cannot get financing on a long-term lease. You cannot get it. You have to own the property. So if we do, if he if he's going to hamper us from doing exchanges, and what you're going essentially what you're doing is you're cutting down the revenues to the state. We've already had a heck of a revenue budget shortfall. We've been very <clears throat> very good in our in our office. We've had a flat budget with four less employees than we started with, and we don't really need something hampering the business opportunities in New Mexico.